In this video, I will provide an overview of SAS Content Assessment and its applications. SAS Content Assessment is a collection of applications designed to help you understand your SAS 9.4 deployments and content and gather and prepare that content for migration to SAS VIA. Specific applications are designed to thoroughly analyze your SAS 9.4 content for compatibility, optimization, any other issues and for modifications you may need to make. Content assessment delivers reports in SAS Visual Analytics that help you review the data collected by the applications. And content assessment is downloadable from support.sas.com. It's updated each month with each via stable release. Content assessment originated as a way to assess a Source 9.4 deployment to prepare for migration. Since it came out a few years ago, there's been many applications added in the assessment area. In addition, content assessment has evolved adding applications that support the export of SAS 9.4 content to packages in batch and the batch import of package 9.4 content to SAS VIA. In this video, we will briefly review each content assessment application starting with the assessment applications. In this slide, we break down the content assessment applications into those that help with assessment and planning, which we'll look at first, to some utility applications that help in the process of running content assessment, to those that help in the export area, and those that help in the import area. There's one content ass assessment application that we don't mention here, system evaluation, that's a tool that applies to the upgrade of a 9.4 environment rather than a migration to VIA. It examines a deployment for possible issues that could adversely affect an upgrade. Content assessment is downloadable from support.sas.com. These are the general requirements. It runs on SAS 9.4 M1 on Linux, AIX or Windows. It requires Java 1.7 or higher. On the machine that you run it, it requires the platform object framework which was delivered with SAS 9.4 and the SAS content server. The only application that doesn't have to satisfy those two requirements is the code check application. And you should install and run content assessment using the account that you installed SAS 9.4. These are the general requirements. When we get into the individual applications, we'll look at some additional requirements. Content assessment applications run on the command line and they go against the source environment, things like the metadata, the relationships, the content, the file system, to do their analysis. They publish the data from that run to a data mark. That data mark can be loaded to CAS, and they provide a set of reports for you to visualize the results of the assessment process. Content assessment is installed by uncompressing it on your source environment. And it's configured by editing two main configuration files. Firstly, the metaparms.sas file. That contains the connection information for the source metadata server. And secondly, we have a set env.yaml file, which is a YAML file shared among all the applications. It's the main configuration file for all content assessment applications. And you enter information into that file to give content assessment the configuration to use. You should be aware that not all settings are applicable to every application in that file, but it's very well documented with what you should put and what applications each setting applies to. Before we get into the assessment application, let's look at two of the utility applications. Firstly, publish assessed content. Publish assessed content basically prepares the data for reporting. It aggregates the results for each execution of content assessment into a single data part. It supports encrypting those results and you can create an archive file to share the results with SAS. Import assess content is something you would run after you'd run a content assessment tool and then did the publish assess content. Import assess content will load the data from the data marked into CAS on the VIA platform and import the reports to the VIA platform so that you can access them in VIA. This slide uses inventory as an example. The process of running each application is the same. You execute the application against the 9.4 system. It uses the metaparms.sas and the setinvia.yaml file to be able to connect to that system and understand the configuration. You then publish the data for the data mark 
for that particular application. So in this case, inventory. Then you use import assess content to load the data into memory and import the reports to the VIA environment. And at that point, you can then review the reports and understand the analysis that's happened about your SAS 94 system. Let's take a look at each of the assessment applications. Inventory is the simplest content assessment application and usually the place you would start. Inventory scans your SAS 9 system and documents the type and volume of content. It looks at the metadata server, the file system, the SAS content server, and also gives you information about deployment and license info. The type of thing you will see in inventory is like a count of the number of reports you have, the number of jobs you have, the number of stored processes you have. SAS 9 Profile takes the analysis a step further and drills deeper into the specific characteristics of each type of object. Profile contains a series of reports for each SAS 94 content. The reports will include details like what tasks are used in EG projects, what transforms are used in DI Studio jobs, what calculations are used in cubes and information maps. So a much more detailed view for each individual type of content. Profile reports for content like Enterprise Guide and DI Studio Jobs also provide details on the likely success of migration of individual content items. Code Check examines SAS programs to determine compatibility with SAS VIA, including looking at the code for elements that are not supported. An example of not supported would be PROC metadata or laser live names or PROC imstat elements that don't make sense in VIA. CodeCheck also lists elements that may have processing restrictions in VIA. In VIA, the SAS VIA platform, the SAS Compute Server and the SAS Connect Server have lockdown enabled by default. They're more secure than SAS 9.4 and certain code elements like call system or proc HTTP or file name HTTP these elements are disabled by default in VIA, so that if you have them in your SAS 9.4 code, it won't run in VIA out of the box and you'll get an error. So the code check report flags those code elements and that will give you the opportunity to either configure VIA so that they'll run or to think of an alternate, more secure way to achieve the same ends. And the other important item flagged by code check is the location of physical paths in the code because likely those paths to things like directories and code on the file system will have to change in the VIA environment. Code check runs against SAS programs on the file system. We know we have SAS code in other locations that are not on the file system. SAS code can be in stored processes and enterprise guide projects in SAS catalogs. This is where gather SAS code can help. Gather SAS code will generate SAS code from these artifacts and output it to the file system to support the assessment of that code with CodeCheck. SAS CodeCheck for internationalization examines SAS code for known internationalization issues. It searches the files for patterns that have been identified as not I18N compatible. SAS VIA runs in UTF-8 by default and that may not be the encoding of your source system these elements that are identified here, like embedded strings and concatenated text strings, locale sensitive informats and formats, SAS string functions, all these things are things that could behave differently in UTF-8 encoded SAS sessions. SAS 9 application usage counts the number of users for SAS 9 applications on SAS workspace servers. This is a tool that helps to identify usage patterns in SAS 9.4 by application, by user, by time period. Providing you with information that can help you decide whether you really need to move that content over to the VIA environment. Summarize SAS Log Steps is an application that analyzes SAS 9 logs. To help you understand real time and CPU time for each SAS program step to prepare for potential migration to CAS and VIA. Up until this point, we've had to load our data into CAS and load our reports to VIA and have a VIA environment to look at the results of our content assessment applications. Introduced recently, the Preview Assess Content application 
extracts results to CSV files so that the results can be reviewed without loading the data to VIA and CAS. Currently, PreviewSS content is supported by inventory and code check. So without going through the whole process of loading your data to CAS and having a VIA report, the PreviewSS content can give you access to the results of your inventory and your code check executions. Lastly, in the assessment area, several of the content assessment applications support driving the migration process using the output from content assessment reports. SAS Code Check for Enterprise Guide report supports downloading a CSV file of compatible EG projects. So that is EG projects that the process has identified as being compatible with FIRE. And then you can use that CSV to drive some of the batch import tools that we're about to talk about. And SAS Profile for Data Integration Jobs has similar functionality. It allows you to download a CSV file of compatible DI jobs that can then drive a batch export process of those jobs from SAS 9.4. Content Assessment now delivers applications that help with export and import. On the export side, Create SAS Packages creates SAS Packages for SAS content. It currently supports SAS Stored Processes and Data Integration Studio jobs. On the screen, I have an example of an execution of Create SAS Packages. You point it to a CSV file containing a list of jobs, and it will loop through that CSV file and create a SAS package file for each of the jobs that are listed in the CSV file. Additionally, there is a Create FAR Packages application that creates Forecast Server archives from Forecast Server projects, a Create grid, SAS Grid import data, and a Create Enterprise Miner batch code, Create EM batch code. In order to use these export applications, SAS Intelligence Platform Object Framework must be installed in the 9.4 environment. You have to have the GRE 1.7 or higher, and also the middle tier and the content server have to be installed. On the import side, import EG projects will import multiple EG projects on the file system to SAS via. It will import EG projects either from a CSV file or it will loop through all projects in a directory and import those projects to SAS via. Import SAS packages is similar. It will import multiple SPK files on the file system and we also have import FAR packages for importing forecast server archives and import SAS grid packages. We mentioned that hard-coded paths will most likely have to change for your code to run in VIA. This is where Modify SAS code can help. Modify SAS code application updates path in SAS code associated with a specific SAS9 code check execution. So you have to have run code check before you run Modify SAS code because it uses some of the output from code check. But you can run modify SAS code, pass it a mapping file, which maps the current hard-coded path to where the new path will be in VIA. And what the application will do is go through your SAS files, and it will make those changes for you in a copy of the code, which is output to its output location. So a very useful tool for batching up the changing of your hard-coded paths to where the paths will be in your target VIA environment. Finally, content assessment. SAS can help you. You can share content assessment results with SAS when you need help with the results or to influence future migration development priority. In the help that's provided on support.sas.com for SAS9 content assessment, there's a section that you can look at that will give you the information how you can get this kind of help from SAS. If you would like to see some of these tools in action, you can check out these other YouTube videos that deal with specific migration topics, migration of enterprise guide projects, the SAS Studio flows, cover some of the applications. So do the videos on migration of DI Studio jobs and SAS store processes. And there's another video on using the modify SAS code application. This has been a high level overview of SAS Content Assessment and its applications. SAS Content Assessment is a collection of applications that assist with migration from SAS 9.4 to SAS VIA. Content Assessment provides applications that help with understanding the nature and the volume of your SAS 9 content, preparing 
to migrate from 9.4 to VIA, exporting content from SAS 9.4 and importing package content to VIA. There's a lot more detailed information in the documentation. I would recommend that if you want to run content assessment, you should go look at that documentation.